Now, Padawan, I heard your shuttle arriving. I am Master Sio Bacard of the Jedi Council. Welcome to Tython. This is the ancestral home of our order, where the Jedi first came to be, and where our most promising Padawans complete their training. Chance to see where the first Jedi walked, train where they trained. It's quite an honor. So eager. You and your new master should get along nicely. Your instructors tell me that even in childhood you had a remarkable connection to the Force. We haven't seen such power in decades. I was hoping your new master would be here. Yuan left her dig site and is returning to Tython specifically to train you. It sounds like Master Yuan's putting a lot of faith in me. We haven't even met. Trust in your initial training. And never forget the Jedi Code. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. This is... Yuan, I was beginning to worry. So you've arrived safely, my Padawan. I'm sorry I can't greet you properly, but we already have a crisis on our hands. I'm at your service, Master. Tython is a treasure trove of ancient Jedi relics. Recently, our researchers uncovered several teaching holograms, but they've not been fully studied. These holograms may be records of the founders of the Jedi Order. They're absolutely irreplaceable. But a large group of flesh raiders has begun rampaging through that region. Those priceless holograms are in danger. I've never heard of flesh raiders before. The Flesh Raiders are Tython's natives. Savage cannibals who destroy everything in their path. Including the hologram's projectors. Combat teams are pushing the Flesh Raiders back, but retrieving the holograms is the first task of your training. No, Yuan. You can't risk a Padawan against Flesh Raiders, even for such important artifacts. A Padawan who was stronger in the Force at four years old than I was at fifteen? Gifted students need greater challenges. There's a difference between a challenge and risking your student's life. If Yuan believes you're ready for a true test, you must be ready. The holograms are in the Gnarls. Be vigilant. That region has dangers of its own. If you encounter any difficulties, contact me on this holocommunicator. When you have the holograms, meet me at the Jedi Temple. We have much to discuss. Activation protocol begins. So, after the long silence, finally someone comes. I am Garen Jard. Millennia ago, I stood as a founder of the Jedi Order. For a hologram, you're surprisingly articulate. We needed worthy vessels for our knowledge. When the Jedi Order began, I saw we must be dedicated to peace, to calming our emotions and ending war across the galaxy. If we fought, it should only be in self-defense. That is the founding principle of civilization. Being civilized also means defending those weaker than yourself. Indeed. But we must do so knowing the mark it will leave upon history and on ourselves. The Jedi may have changed, but galactic peace has always remained one of our goals. Activation protocol complete. Go well. Activation protocol begins. Ah, another has come to listen. When the Jedi Order was founded, I, Calibrin, said we should devote ourselves to justice. True justice cannot be driven by emotion. We Jedi can set our passions aside and seek the truth without fear or favor. If you can't feel mercy, justice suffers. Sorrow for the victim, or outrage at the crime, can blind us. To see clearly, such feelings must be put aside. It has served us well. We Jedi are renowned for our fairness, our honesty. Now, that reputation is yours to keep. Activation protocol complete.
Activation protocol begins. A new Jedi comes to learn. Excellent. Excellent. I am Ter Sendon, Keeper of the Histories, a founder and chronicler of the Jedi Order. I saw us becoming guardians of knowledge and secrets. We Jedi would safeguard the wisdom of the galaxy. Gathering such knowledge would be a great adventure. My travels took me across many worlds, more than any other founder. I saw, heard, dreamed. Jedi seek to dispel ignorance, to understand other cultures, and bring that understanding to others. Never forget that, wherever your path leads. Activation protocol complete. Master Yuan, I've encountered a problem. One of the holo projectors has been stolen. Stolen? But the flesh raiders don't steal, they destroy. I'll look into this. If you have the other holograms, come and meet me at the Jedi Temple. I'm sending you directions now. And please, Padawan, be careful. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaizen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. Did you train Kaizen too, Master Yuan? Dost Tanga Rastak. Shivir Sarsuk. Sumkaris. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaizen. I wanted you to meet, before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. I was glad to help, Master. I've identified the holo projector that was stolen. It contained a, a hologram of Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi Founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. What exactly did Rajivari do? Details of his life are maddeningly sparse. Rajivari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. Why are these Twi'leks here? Religious persecution drove them from their home world. They found sanctuary here, but without the Republic's permission. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the holo projector, and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'leks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. We're Jedi. Aren't we obligated to help those in need? This is the Jedi Council's judgment. I might disagree, but the decision is made. When you reach Kalikori village, find Bashen, captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the holo projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Go carefully. Break out another cask, or three. The festival only comes once a year. Our stores can take it. Just as well. We have an uninvited guest. I see. Festival of Awakening, Jedi. You're not welcome here. What's the Festival of Awakening? It sounds like fun. 
It is. And Jedi aren't invited. What do you want? Someone took a Jedi relic from the Gnarls, a hollow projector. I was hoping you might have seen it. A hollow projector? Yeah, I know what you mean. Nalan found one. Nalan Rollick. Maybe you've heard of him? I haven't, but it sounds like he has a reputation. Nalan Rollick, our dueling champion for nine years straight. He once rescued an entire scouting party from Flesh Raiders single-handed. He planned our defenses, protects us when we go foraging. Without him, we wouldn't even be having the festival. And no, I am not telling you where he is. Nalan earns his peace and quiet. That hologram's data isn't safe. Nalan should be warned. Or do you want to risk something happening to him? Nalan can take care of himself. Against flesh raiders, sure. But some of that Jedi tech is weird. Okay, fine. Nalan went into the flesh raiders' territory. He's probably still there. He's been gone a while. I thought this was a special day. Shouldn't he be here celebrating? Nalan just likes to be alone these days, and festivals aren't really his thing. Though last year, he did the Waker's Dance with the rest of us. I think Nalan's got a camp out there. If you see him, tell him to be back for the feast. a lot of noise. I come for a flesh raider, I find a Jedi Padawan. I come to listen, to think among the dead, to fight for my people. Why have you come? My master sent me, to bring Rajavari's holo projector back to the temple. I'm called Nalan Ralok. The others in the village spin tales of their legendary protector. They don't understand. Are the Flesh Raiders destroyed? No. My people aren't safe until my learning's complete. Tython's relics still have lessons. I listen. I can do things I never imagined possible. I will be the defender my people deserve. Perhaps your studies are making you into something else. Jedi condemn what they can't control. But you're not a concern. Only the Flesh Raiders matter. Rajavari's hologram showed me how to punish them. The Flesh Raiders will come, but not leave. A merciful death compared to what my people have suffered. You'll get us both killed. There are hidden wonders, Jedi. And my journey has just begun. Now run, or die. spoke to Rana Dauven, the daughter of Kalikori village's matriarch, concerning your visit there. I wanted to meditate on what you learned, 
Such experiences are what shape us as Jedi. Yes, Master. We should check that Rajivari's hologram is safe. The holo projector was stolen by a Twi'lek, Neelan Ralak. He'd learned force techniques from Rajivari's hologram. He was obviously unstable. A villager? Very unusual. Then this Neelan is force sensitive. Let's see what he saw. Activation protocol begins. A few words. Shall this be all my legacy? No. My enemies are long dead. It is time. Hear me. I have left true wisdom behind. For those who follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order, all else is fleeting. My word. True wisdom. Padawan, he, he's talking about the Fount of Rajivari. Master, you seem shaken. I, I'm fine. This is just hard to believe. After Rajivari fell, sources claimed he created a great archive of his knowledge and teachings. The Fount of Rajivari. Generations of Jedi search for it, finding nothing. The Founts considered a hoax by all reputable scholars, but we just heard proof. It's said to follow where the First Blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order. What Sanctuary? Kaleth. The ruins at Kaleth. The name means Sanctum. It's the remains of an ancient fortress. Evidence suggests Kaleth was destroyed in a great battle. All droids still walk those ruins today, but this first blade is a puzzle. I can only think of one blade a Jedi would wield. Good deduction, but lightsabers had yet to be invented. We have found several old weapons in one section of Kaleth. Nothing like a first blade, but a good place to begin. Ah, I planned your training so carefully. But the Force has intervened. Finding the Fount of Rajivari and stopping Nalan must be a greater test. Even if the Force is shaping my training, I want your help, Master Yuan. I... thank you. You should know, Padawan. The Council tends to disapprove of such training, but I'll explain everything to them. For now, focus on exploring Kaleth for this first blade. Call me on your holocommunicator at once if you have any success. Show respect. You stand before greatness. The first blade, I guard. It rests with the ashes of its maker, the Weapon Master. I don't know the title. Who was he? He saw Jedi as warriors, not only philosophers. Armed them, protected them. The first blade, first Jedi weapon. From this beginning, lightsabers came. Millennia pass. Only hilt of first blade remains. Only disturbed once. Rajavari came. He proved worthy. Permitted to take the hilt. Later, return it. Why would Master Rajavari take the hilt and then bring it back? Not my concern. To take the hilt, prove worthy. The philosophy of Jedi combat. Show understanding. The Weapon Master left challenges, here in Kaleth, training droids to test his students. Find them. Prevail. The hilt of the first blade waits.
received. All droids report your battle performance satisfactory. In that case, I wish to take the hilt of the first blade from here. Take the hilt. Treat with respect. Fight with honor. Master Yuan, I found the hilt of the first blade, a proto lightsaber from someone called the Weapon Master. The hilt looks as if there's data engraved on it. Of course, the first blade points the way. But you're going to need the legendary weapon itself, our guide. The force is certainly with you, Padawan. Please bring the hilt back to the temple at once. I will look into a way to access that data. Hello again, Padawan. I'm glad to see you well. Master Seal Bakar, I was there to greet you when you first arrived. Being greeted by a member of the Council is hard to forget, Master Seal. Interesting. Protocol was never a big focus of Yuan's curriculum. This is Master Jarek Kaden, another of the Jedi Council. Yuan told us about Nalin Raylock, the pilgrim seeking Rajivari's secrets. She also claimed the Force is guiding your training. This isn't unknown, but... Master Yuan mentioned this, but she didn't go into details. Yuan thinks encountering Nalan and finding a few relics proves you're meant to find this fount of Rajavari. It's baseless. First she welcomes that Trandoshan into the temple, now this? She's getting more unorthodox by the day. What do you make of Yuan's claim, Padawan? I trust in Master Yuan's wisdom. The Council has agreed to accept Yuan's opinion. For now. But I am concerned about the dangers this path is leading you through. Finding the Fount of Rajavari before Nalan Ralak does is important. But so is your safety, Padawan. Be mindful. Rajavari's hologram proves the same technique existed. Don't you see? It'll resolve that silly debate once and for all. Overexcite? I'm not quite ready to... Ah, oh, Padawan. Much longer and we'd have come looking for you. I thought you might have crossed paths with Nalan Raloc again. Wherever Nalan is, he's not at Kaleth. You said you found the first blade, or its hilt at least. Is it? May I see it? Ah, the folds in the metal, the power cell chamber. These are lost techniques. Our lightsabers began here, with this. I believe these etch marks are encoded information, Master Yuan. And the interior has been modified too, perhaps to hold more. I deciphered a second clue from Rajivari's hologram. To find the fount of Rajivari, this hilt must be taken to a cave in the Typhonian Mountains. The hologram says the Founders meditated in that cave, debated. They became the Jedi Council. All our codes, our laws, and principles can be traced back to those debates. I apologize, Padawan. Kaizen's devotion to the hunt is quite single-minded. He seems to be a gifted hunter already. Hunting is part of Trandoshan religion and culture. Honing his skills is important. Good luck and be careful. The hologram said nothing of what might be waiting in those caves. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand what you mean by Jagannath points. Project. 
So hunting is how you serve your goddess, this scorekeeper, and increase your status. Our first project clicks to Lama, or Kuzgala, or North Pastro, the Endecus, Santalis, or Davrapsak. Apparently not. Do you have any ideas? Davrapsiski, or Dordikja, or Davrapsak, or Das. I should examine them. Maybe piling up the oldest bones is somehow significant to the Flesh Raiders. Svetod, Tramis, Nakagor, Ariak, Radosk, Bragjens, Vetosku, Zarsk, Parsk, Potrak, Orgrandesk. Thanks for coming so fast, Jedi. That Flesh Raider stench was making us dizzy. I think we've met before. Yes, we have. Please don't make this hard. Nalan said to wait for you. You've got something he needs. He has to find this Fount of Rajavari to keep defending our village. I'm sorry. You were straight with us. But I have to take whatever first blade you found in Kaleth. Nalan needs it. Nalan only cares about the Fount of Rajavari. Sending you here risked your lives when he supposedly wants to save you. You don't get it. We're all... We're scared. Nalan hardly comes into the village now. Barely eats or sleeps. And when you talk to him, his eyes are so strange. I can't give Nalan what he wants. But stand down and I'll do what I can for him. Something terrible's happening, isn't it? Keep your artifact, whatever it is. Keep it away from Nalan. Jedi, please, don't hurt him. Whatever Nalan's become, he did this for us. 